Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Let's look at the different kinds of heroes used in literature and think about how each of the near reincarnation characters fall into these categories. And I think this will be the last sort of uh, setup video, concept video I do before my uh, individual character analysis videos. Uh, there is one danger in doing this video now because we don't know anyone's conclusion and that can be a pretty important part in defining a hero. But let's go with what we know now and see how things play out. Also, with some characters, the way their stories end during the main story defines them one way, but by continuing to exist as data and then potentially moving on to a new world and a new life, that could redefine them. I'll try to keep that in mind as we go through. Also, the categories here are not super set in stone. I'm kind of oversimplifying. I mean, if you look at like Harry Potter, you could say that he's like all of these, but yeah. <laughs> All right, the first is the epic hero, or the classic hero. These were the first ever created, and I think that of the reincarnation roster, Demas is the most capital E epic. Epic heroes are more straightforward and less deep than all of the other types of heroes, like Odysseus, the first epic hero. Demas is at a state of rest, he is called to adventure, he overcomes challenges following his moral code, and he returns changed. I'll go into more detail about him later, I'm very excited to do a deep dive on him and see where his character goes. I'm sure there's a better example of the epic hero, uh, but a modern example could be Pee Wee Herman from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Next is the anti-hero, and I would say Lars, Gale, Hina, and Yuzuki fit this definition. Anti-heroes often act selfishly and don't care who they hurt to get what they want. Captain Jack Sparrow from the Pirates of the Caribbean films is a good example of an anti-hero. Then we have the Reluctant Hero, and I would say Fio, Lavania, 10H, and Pod006 fall into this category. This is a type of hero that stumbles into an adventurous situation, and they don't particularly want to be in it. But like the epic hero, they have a moral code that compels them to act for the greater good. Bilbo Baggins from The Hobbit is an example of a reluctant hero. Next, there is the liminal hero, which I was not familiar with until doing research for this video. But Noel, Leon, Sadiu, and Priet can fall into this category. The liminal hero is one who is undefined or unsettled in terms of who they are. They are figuring themselves out and their place in the world as they go through their adventure. Spider-Man is a liminal hero. Then we have the Everman hero, and 063Y and F66X fit this description. Quite literally, actually, since there are a bunch of them. <laughs> Everyman heroes are regular people who act heroically, who go above and beyond, despite not being special in any way. Ellen Ripley from the Alien films is an Everyman, and also bald in Alien 3. <laughs> then we have the romantic hero, and that is Argo. Romantic here doesn't mean he is a Lothario. It comes from the romantic cultural movement in the 1800s, that championed things like individuality, emotion, nature, and wonder, and was a reaction to the uh, very reason-based enlightenment. The romantic hero typically rejects authority and isolates themselves from society. The romantic hero does not fit in, and they don't care that they don't fit in. The romantic hero spends a lot of time in their head. Lisbeth Salander from The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo is a romantic hero. Finally, we have the tragic hero, which comes from the ancient Greek tragedies and from near reincarnation. Griff, Akeha, Marie, Yuri, Udil, and Sadafa fit this mold. I made a video previously talking about Marie and Yuri and uh, Greek tragedy. I'll link to that below. The tragic hero is essentially good, but because of a fatal flaw they have, they are doomed to suffer a tragic end, which is what defines their tragicness. And sometimes their most admirable quality is what leads to their doom. In Griff's case, it is his sense of justice. In Marie's case, it is her conscience. Ned Stark from Game of Thrones is a tragic hero. Okay, super quick video, but I think that will help us uh, set up for the individual character analysis videos coming later. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.